Now, if Jaws made people afraid to go into the water, if I had to go watch a sequel to The Meg, I'd be afraid to go to the theater. The Meg is directed by John Turtletop, who has directed movies such as Phenomenon and National Treasure. The movie stars Jason Statham, Lee, Bing Bing, and Rain Wilson, who plays billionaire Jack Morris. I mean, who knew that beet farming would be so profitable? A group of scientists off the coast of China are deep down into the abyss of the ocean, exploring as they're getting some unusual readings. Unfortunately for them, they come across what they thought was to be an extinct 70 foot plus shark called the Megalodon. With the scientists' lives in peril, only one man can come to the rescue, and that's Jason Statham's Jonas Taylor. They go and try to recruit him, and he really has no interest in helping these scientists out. It's only through like a forced movie plot that kind of twists his arm where he decides to go. So seeing him just not caring that these lives are even in danger makes me as an audience member feel like, well, why should I care if our hero doesn't care as well? Okay, now I know this movie is not to be taken seriously. I get that. But however, you can only uh, displace your reality so much. There's a scene in the movie where they think they captured the Meg and all these scientists and experts are, are celebrating their capture. But I'm looking at this shark and I'm like, that's not even close to the size of what it should be. I think it's obvious to everybody, but the people in the movie stand right next to the shark. And of course, this movie has to go and make one of those bad stereotypes in the movie. Uh, when the Meg actually shows up, of course, they didn't capture it uh, and kind of wrecks their ship. Uh, they go flying into the water. And of course, they have to make a joke with the one black guy who's on the ship that he can't swim. I mean, it was so cheesy and so bad. It's 2018. Why aren't we past these cliches? Now, I love Rain Wilson. I think he's brilliant as Dwight from The Office. Uh, however, I did see a quote from him on Variety.com saying that this movie was like Jaws on steroids. I'm sorry, Rain. While the shark may appear to be on steroids, this movie is the chum that not even a starving fish would want to eat. Now I rate my movies in three categories. Number one, go out and see it now. Number two, wait for rental or streaming. Or number three, uh, don't even bother at all. I think you guys know what I'm gonna say. Number three, don't bother at all. It's not original, it's uninspiring, and it's forgettable. And that's The Meg. Now did you guys see The Meg? Am I wrong? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Or are you guys going to wait for it to uh, be on Netflix? Let me know in the comments below.